Why I almost had high blood pressure, Tinubu reveals in a video. The All Progressive Congress APC presidential candidate Bola Tinubu says he has stopped using social media. Tinubu disclosed that he almost had high blood pressure whenever he used, he used social media. He lamented that he has been subjected to intense abuse by social media users, hence he avoids it. The APC presidential candidate disclosed this in a video posted on Twitter by one of his allies, Ademola Oshodi. In the footage, the former Lagos state governor said he gets angry whenever he reads the things written about him on social media. Wow. I don't read social media anymore. They abuse the hell out of me. If I read it, I get high blood pressure and angry. I don't read it, so if I want to hear anything, my children or my workers will say this one, said this, and when I am tired, I say, please, forget it, Tinubu said. Following his emergence as the APC presidential candidate, Tinubu has been subjected to a lot of controversies. He, however, dismissed all the allegations which he described as false and baseless. Wow. So this is what Tinubu is saying, that he doesn't like reading social media again. He doesn't like, you know, doing anything on social media again as a person. Because each time he opens social media, he gets high blood pressure and gets angry on what people are writing, writing about him. That each time he opens it, what he sees there gets him angry and gives him high, high, high blood pressure. For that reason, he no longer uses social media. So each time he, he needs information, his children or grandchildren will tell him, Daddy, this said, or this said that, or that said that, or that said that. And when he gets angry too, or when he's tired of hearing all those things, he also shuts them down. So because of what is happening on social media, definitely uh, uh, he won't be comfortable opening his social media. All right? Since he emerged as the APC presidential flag bearer for the upcoming 2023 general election, he has been subjected to a lot of controversies, both physical and online, on the social media system. I'm sure it's the same reason he decided not to attend the, the, any, any presidential debate anymore. All right? Each time he goes out, he makes blunders. Each time he goes out, he makes blunders. Now, social media is just looking out for him like, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, like fishermen in the water looking for fish, you know? Social media is now the biggest judge and the biggest court in the world now that once your matter gets there, be sure that it will be dissected into pieces and both the good, the bad, the ugly inside your matter will come out. So Tinubu has a lot of controversies around him and which have been causing blaze in the, in the social media since he decided to run for the presidency for the 2023 general election, ranging from the issue around his wealth. There are stories, in fact, it's not even today that his matter has been on social media. Right from when he, had, he chose to be uh, a leader of APC, it got worse. Then up to 2019, when he moved money from bank into his house using bullion van to buy votes, it got worse. So since then, in fact, uh, his matter online has been something else. All right? So apart from his source of his wealth, which he has not been able to clarify up to now. He says he worked with Moby, he was paid this, he was paid that, he worked here, he worked there. The question is how much was Moby, Moby or Nigeria paying at that time? At what age, at what uh, promotional level did he retire at? And what was his retirement benefit to show, to amount to what he's getting right now? All right? So he has been accused of, you know, um, um, trying to corner the Lagos State, part of the Lagos State IGR into his own uh, coffers using some firms, contractors, and some businesses registered uh, and affiliated to him. Then apart from the source of his wealth, his education, his age, his origin, his background have been causing fire on the internet. 
ranging from now that he decided to run for the presidency of this country. So all the matter that were silent about him, people went and dug all of them out. Right? And all of them, he has not been able to clarify them. He cannot produce his age. He cannot produce his primary and secondary school certificate. He cannot say so much about his origin and his now record highs that it's not from Lagos State, that it's from Oshu State. So from what family in Oshu State? He knows it's from Oshu State. He usually visits Oshu State. And that is why he's interested in what is happening in Oshu State government. And that is why he tried to put uh, his candidate as governor of such that state. But he, you know, spiritually, he has not dissociated himself from there. But on the social media and politically, he's trying to show that it's from Lagos. And that has been throwing a lot of controversies here in Lagos. It is, it is a serious one. His route now because of, I'm sure because he, there are controversies around his age and around his original name, that's why he doesn't want to bring out his primary and secondary school certificate. I'm sure he attended. But if he brings them out, we're going to see some kind of different information from what he's bearing right now. And that will throw more controversies around him. And these are the things that people are putting on social media that he doesn't like to see at all. Another one now that just came up is about his health. His health has been, has been questioned all along. That each time he goes for an outing, he staggers. He struggles to stabilize. He struggles to stand for too long. He struggles to do a lot of things unsupported. And so people wonder about his health. Couple the medical records, he has been traveling to UK and to France for medical treatments and for certain ailments that we don't know. Some say around his knee. Some say it's in his body. You know, some controversial pictures showing his body system uh, uh, not being in good condition are uh, all on social media. And I'm sure he wouldn't want to see any of those things. I think a few days ago, one of his aides wrote that they don't want him to attend some of those rigorous occasions again because of his health. Uh, he had a knee surgery and again, he takes some kind of injections that keeps him for six hours when he goes out and wants he, that that the effect of that injection start dissipating, he will start collapsing or start failing as well. And so because of all these things, they are mindful of where to take him to. Coupled with his, his mental health, he seems like somebody suffering from dementia. And so each time he goes out, his media aides, they want him to stay on the script. He must stay on the script that has been written to him. To a point that even when he went to Kaduna for the, for, for the same town hall meeting, he said it there when he was talking about Erufa, that he had been warned, you know, he had been warned uh, uh, to stay on script. And he made another blunder there, that Erufa is very, very good, he's a professional, he's good, and he's good in turning bad situation to worse. And that also caused fire on, on, uh, on social media, you know. So, so he has a lot of things around him that, is, that he doesn't want to hear again. And, um, and again, another issue around this uh, source of money and the drug offenses that uh, that uh, is now on media again that he has been indicted. No, that he was investigated or he was associated with a drug and money laundry uh, case in the U.S. All right, in northern state of Illinois or northern province of Illinois, and uh, now that one is unsettled yet. People are going back and forth, both INEC lawyers, social media, everybody, even the U.S. consular in Nigeria, everybody going back and forth, and that has not been put to rest yet. And I'm sure those are the things that he will go and read about himself. The latest of all about himself is the blunders he commits when he goes out for any, any outing, other town hall meetings, stakeholders meeting, and all of that. The other day that he went to Joss for the APC presidential campaign flag off, uh, rally in uh, Joss. That was where he committed another blunder, almost two blunders there. One, he said, God bless PD, APC. And his people got frustrated a bit. That came out to know that, to, you know, on social media, that probably he's forgetting his political party. All right? And another thing again, he was saying, Wula la, Wula Balu, or Wula something. You know, he was like speaking in tongues, and people don't understand, did not understand what he was saying, and he felt like he tripped off somehow you know, mentally, and uh, before he recovered again. So that one came up again, and it's a confusion now also on social media. And he said, he said, spokespersons in the party have come out to say he was cracking a joke, that it was a joke, you know. 
so that several things around him that uh, <laughs> that will make him uncomfortable and because of his nature with all the baggages that he needs to clear people just just don't like him again you know so anything that comes around him that is not looking good that's exactly what people want to fly around so so these are the reasons i'm sure um, that made him also to say uh, not only social media but also presidential debates where they were asking pertinent questions about his person, about his wealth, about his personality, about his health, about everything, his education. He doesn't want to answer any of those questions at all. So he wouldn't want to go to a location where they were asking questions. And that's why when he went to Wiri a few days ago for the same presidential campaign, instead of going for a pure rally, he, he went for a town hall meeting. All right? And that town hall meeting, I think the, the most of the stakeholders in that meeting walked out on him and we could see the anger on the face of Shetima that 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 moment, you know. They walked out on him. So so it means that people actually don't like his personality, but again, he must bulldoze his way through. He must bulldoze his way through. So he said he will not open social media again to avoid high blood pressure and avoid anger. At the same time, he wouldn't attend any presidential debate again. I'm also sure to avoid committing blunder, to avoid high blood pressure, and also to avoid anger when he gets there. Because they were asking questions that will turn him off and he might turn tiger in trying to respond to those questions. So these are the things that he is saying that he likes avoiding social media. So let's have your comment on that as well. Thank you.